It's funny how so many men use references to femininity as a shorthand for fear. If a guy is unwilling to do something dangerous, he risks being referred to by <gasps> feminine pronouns or, even worse, a pussy. And I'm like, motherfuckers, I've spent the last two years watching y'all feel podcasts, op-eds, comedy specials, and day-to-day -day rants with unmitigated terror at the idea of maybe being held accountable for your actions eventually. In other words, it's easy to be fearless when there's no consequences for your actions, asshole. And for a great example of what I'm talking about, I want to go back to a story I missed because of the month off. It's about a pastor named Chris Volatin of Bethel Church in California. Now, regular listeners might recognize that church by its more common and less official moniker, Christian Hogwarts. It's the church that tells kids they can walk through walls and resurrect the dead if they Jesus hard enough. They're just not Jesus and hard enough. So anyway, last month, Volatin decided to post one of his old sermons on YouTube. It's apparently from 2014. And the theme of the sermon seemed to be, you are a filthy, filthy slut, and I'm surprised God still loves you. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, I have to admit that I haven't actually listened to the whole sermon. What I saw was a minute-long compilation that a TikTok user put together that provided some quick hits of the most sexist parts. In it, he implies that women are responsible for men's thoughts about them. He implies that victims of sexual assault have it coming if they wear revealing clothes. His exact words are, if you fish with shark bait, you're going to catch sharks. And the video wraps up with him saying, quote, I've seen thousands of people's virginity restored. I have hundreds of emails about girls' hymens being restored. End real quote. Now, holy shit, is there a lot wrong with that? And I only gave you the highlights of the highlights. I mean, I guess I should give him at least some credit for backing off the claim that he's seen hymens restored and going with having seen emails about it. But holy fuck, is everything else wrong with that sentence? Hymens do not equal virginity. Virginity isn't a thing that can be restored. Virginity isn't something you should want restored. And to be honest, I kind of doubt that Chris Volatin can read or use a computer well enough to find his inbox. Anyway, the compilation of his sexist purity culture bullshit went viral, so he immediately took down the video. Then he releases this bullshit non-pology statement where he blames the chick who put together the compilation. Quote, someone who I do not know created a short 57-second video using select sound bites from that teaching and posted the clip on social media. Understandably, anyone who saw that short video would be confused as the full context was completely missing. End quote. And look, man, as bad as the you're taking it out of context argument starts off when you're talking about magically regrowing hymens, it's all the weaker when the reason we're taking it out of context is that you removed the context. But here, let me put it back in context for you, buddy. Chris Fullerton is a misogynistic piece of shit who gets mad at women when their wardrobes make his wee-wee do a fidget. And if you need any more context than that, I should remind you that he preaches at a church with a school that claims to be able to teach you how to wield Harry Potter magic through Jesus. And with the promise that I'll pick some more current misogyny for the next one, I'll close things off and hand you back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli. <laughs> 